When dealing with our daily emotions that we all face, there can be positive outcomes we control. Is living abundantly really possible for all of us, no matter where we find ourselves today? Absolutely, unequivocally, yes, is the answer. Now, here is the host of The Long Bearded Guy, the Chief Catalyst, Strategist Guide at Jewel International, Gordon D. Melville. Good afternoon, everybody. Wow, I shouldn't have been talking in my head like that. I have concussion protocol, so I shouldn't have been. Anyway, welcome to Red Fridays. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for showing up. By the way, Red uh, Red Friday, that's R-E-D, remember everyone deployed. And they're willing to stand on the wall. They're willing to pick up a gun and protect us so that we can we can do have our fun and do our things. And you'll notice today, speaking of fun, um, you'll see, I don't know if you can see that or not, my Titans uh, start uh, the finals uh, tonight. We finished uh, a league uh, number one seed for the for the season, and it's the win- the first winningest season in franchise history. The first winning season in franchise history, and they've been doing mindset work. Oddly enough, with yours truly. So that's a that's a wonderful wonderful thing. I'm really 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 excited for for the team and where they're going to go and what's going to happen with that. In full transparency and in full uh, letting you know sort of where I am, vulnerability, and, and, and you know I talk a lot about that, uh, being both vulnerable and transparent. And so, you know, as I'm wildly excited about, about the playoffs and about the team and, uh, and about where we're going to go in the final uh, three games and, and we can win a championship, which we've never done before. And as a champion mindset mentor, getting the guys past high uh, like really 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 high um effort and high um it, it they, they have to do it they got to get past that really really there's a switch between those levels they can't just push hard they can't be uh, if you know what 212 is in terms of uh boiling point of water they can't just be at 209 they, ha- they have to be at two. 12 to get the proper number the proper amount of steam to be able to run and so uh, you know uh, it's great if you're at 209 it's great if you're at two, but i want you at 212 today and just so you know i, I want to say welcome people are listening from all over the place thank you for joining me thank you for tuning in i really appreciate you you being here you're with the long bearded guy that, that's me uh today we're talking about taking ownership of where we're at to move ourselves forward Taking ownership of where we're at, we have to know where we are. Plumb line, if you know what that is, right? Mark the spot. Where are we at? And if we're not where we want to be, why not? But to own it. It's not because of somebody else. It's not because of an ex or because of a parent or because of a a boss or because of where we're at or because of what our responsibilities are. Screw that. Bullshit. Take ownership of where you're at. The choices you've made have gotten you to where you are. Like it or not. Good, bad, and otherwise. Choices even for myself, and I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not preaching to any, all of you and going, hey, you know what? I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm talking to myself. My producer will tell you he's talking to himself. He's trying to talk to himself as much as he's sharing with you. So, I'm a, I'm on a mission to positively change the lives of every man I meet and everybody I meet, but specifically uh, entrepreneurial guys and pro athletes. And I want to do that by increasing their emotional quotient because a lot of us don't have high emotional quotient. We we struggle and we hear things a certain way, but we don't identify that that's the problem. So I'm I'm educating men. I'm educating people in general uh, about their EQ. And so I'm founder and CEO of Jewel International. I am a champion mindset mentor. Uh, that's uh, that's a, as a title. Um, I'm a multi award winning international best selling author multiple times. And I'm a keynote speaker and blah, 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 blah. I'm, I'm the champion mindset mentor for a pro basketball team. Go to Titans. And I'm uh, really, really excited about that. But I teach the seven levels of emotional intelligence for men. I, like I said, I serve entrepreneurial men and pro athletes. Uh, I'm excited for you to find me on Apple TV, Google TV, Amazon Fire, Roku, iHeartRadio, all the places. It's a free download. Go to wherever you download your, your stuff wherever you listen to things, download the Inspired Choices Network app. It's free, and you can listen to not just me, but all the incredible hosts that are on this network. 
there's some amazing topics, but there's some amazing hosts on this network. And, and if for you to plug in, it doesn't cost you anything to do that. But please, please like it, love it, share it, subscribe. That helps our algorithm, helps pay for the show. We thank you for doing that. It, it doesn't cost anything to do that. So please do that. Well, I want engagement. We have a ridiculous, huge number of reach in the hundreds of millions of reach. But uh, it's not about our reach. It's about the engagement. It's about people actually talking to us. We're hitting nerves. I'm talking. And again, if you know who I am and you've listened to other shows, you know I'm not here to polish your trophies. I, I, it doesn't mean I won't pat you on the back and lift you up. It means I'm, I'm not willing to leave. I love you enough not to leave you where you are. I love you. I'm going to rattle your chain and shake your cage and go, come on. If you're love being mediocre, you're not listening to me anymore. You're probably not still here. But if you want to go to more levels, if you want to raise your game, if you want to improve your life all over the place, I'm your guy. I, I'm one of the people that you can listen to that, that gives a shit about you, cares about you. I love you. Um, and, and people say, well, how, how is that possible? You don't even know me. I don't need to, people hate for no reason. I can love for a reason. You're alive, you're human, I'm human. I don't need any other reason. And I think if we would do that more and leave with our heart, we would be in a much, 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 much better place than we are today. So let's get into this a little bit. Let's talk about taking ownership of where we're at to move ourselves forward. I have to know where I am to be able to go anywhere. But I have to be able to be honest about where I'm at. Not sugarcoat it, not lie to myself, not blame it on everybody else. Own our own shit. Own it. We're, we're where we are at for a reason. I have this conversation with players. I have this conversation with entrepreneurs. I have this conversation with myself. We are where we are because of the choices we've made. We, we are where we are because of the, for a reason. There's a reason we are here. There's a reason those players are at this level and, and, and they could get to bigger levels. They could go to even higher levels, but that takes a choice and a decision and the discipline and the mental toughness to do it. Some of these players, they're, they're, they won the lottery in terms of genetics, right? Like um, somebody that's four foot seven is going to have real struggle getting into the NBA no matter how talented they are. Spud Webb at 5'3 was the shortest guy. And another gentleman that I co-wrote a book with, tied with him for the shortest guys in the NBA, but 5'2, that's really, really, really vertically perfected. So these players that, that are on this team that I work with, lots of them, we had a seven foot guy. The average is about 6'6. Six, six. That's, so you won a lottery. What did you do? What are they doing with it? You're, you, you've got height. You've got skill that most people don't have. What are you doing with it? That's a choice they're making. They're choosing either to step into that or not step into that to be able to get to where they want to go. And that's the same with business. It's the same for me. And I'm again, in the, in the, in the vein of being vulnerable and transparent with you, Sometimes I struggle to step into that empowerment. I struggle to step into where I already, I can't become, and you've heard me say that before, I can't become who I already am. But, some, but I have to choose to step into that and be who I already am. I have to believe that and then embrace that and then live in that space. It's a tough thing to do. Really, I'm not saying at any point, I'm, and it's easier once you do your said than done. So, and, and like I said, I'm I'm talking to myself as much as to you. I want you to feel my heart. I want you to feel my heart. We have to be able to know where we're at and take ownership of that. I have to understand, you know what? I'm not where I want to be because of me, not because of somebody else, not because. That makes me a victim. As soon as I go, it's their fault. It's that person's fault. It's the other. Uh, I, I'm now I'm a victim. Oh, uh, I, uh, this is what happens to me. No, 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 no. I'm not doing that. I'm not playing that game. 
I'm going the other direction. I'm going in the other, I want empowerment. I want to stand from a place that says, no, I'm where I am because of me. I'm where I am because of the choices I made. And again, good, bad, or otherwise. Someone that's standing in prison is going, hey, it's the choices I made. Someone that's standing in the NBA, it's the choices they've made. Why was Kobe or Jordan or some of these guys, why are they so good? It's the choices they made. While everybody else was out partying, they were dedicated and focused. And they were generating mental toughness at a level that most even NBA players can't fathom. Kobe Bryant, when he first got into the NBA at 17, didn't even date for the first five years he was in the league. Why? Because he had chosen to be one of the best that's ever played the game. That was what, it, getting to the NBA, was, uh, that's a given. I have to do that to be able to get to where I want to go. It was no big deal. I have to get here. That's, that's a starting point. That's not the destination like a lot of the other guys that were in the league, that are in the league. That, that was the goal. I got to get to the NBA. I got to get to the NBA. I got to get to pro. And we do it in business. I got to get to to a sales director, I have to get to a vice president, I have to get to, okay, okay. Do you have the discipline and the mental toughness to get there? Because it's gonna be freaking hard, brutally hard. It's gonna require sacrifice. It's gonna require dedication. It's gonna require making hard choices that most people don't wanna make. Most people, don't want to do it, which is why less than 3% of the population does any kind of personal development. Why? Because it's too hard. I'm losing people from around me. I, I'm, I'm, I, I, there's, I, I, people aren't showing up the way they always did. It hurts. That introspection hurts. It's easier to stay in our comfort zone where we're close to the ground where there's minimal expectations of anybody around me or standards, right, to live up to, there's minimal pressure. There's also minimal reward, but you're safe. So it's all okay. Bullshit. Get up. Move. Go. Be who you're supposed to be. Don't sit in your comfort zone. Nobody grows in their comfort zone. Nobody, we have to get outside. We have to choose to move. We have to choose to become comfortable being uncomfortable. We have to, if we want to grow, if you're, if you're happy being mediocre, no problem. Stay where you are. All good. But then don't bitch and whine because your life isn't what you want it to be. Don't bitch and whine because you don't have what you wanted. Don't bitch and whine because you're not where you think you should have been or what you think you deserve or what you, sh shut up, shut up. My mom would say, shit or get off the pot, put up or shut up, do something about it. You have the power to do that. That's why I say to people, make it a great day. Why? Because they have the power to do it. The rest of your day has been in a toilet, change it, choose and, and then do something. Don't just choose and then don't do. You have to choose and then execute on that. Immediately execute on it. I need to take a quick break. I'll, I, I, I get on my soapbox and I get passionate about it. I hope you feel that. I hope you understand it's coming from my heart. It's coming from deep inside me, the passion that says, you know what? I want to help you. But I can't want it more for, the, for you than you want it for you. I can't want it more for my players than they want it for themselves. Do I want them to win the championship? Yes. I don't want them just to be high performance. I want them to be champions because they are. But I need them now to execute who they are to show that up in reality and in real life so they can see it. So they get the trophy and they can hold on to it. And that never goes away. People in this town will always talk about this team by name. Here, these are the, these are the guys. That never goes away, but it takes discipline and dedication and, and a level of focus that most people don't have. 
I got to take a break. I got, I want to do a quick shout out for Jose Escobar, the founder and CEO of the Entrepreneur's Bookshop. Check out the Connected Leaders Academy membership to take your business to the next level. This is the perfect tribe to learn, grow, and connect like never before. The Connected Leaders Academy tribe brings together some of the highest level entrepreneurs from all over the world. Set up a virtual coffee with Jose Escobar today. And you can reach him at theentrepreneursbookshelf.com, theentrepreneursbookshelf.com. That's Jose Escobar. They just had the Global Summit. Amazing, amazing time. Incredible, incredible time. Ask him about that when you, when you reach out to him. He'll, he'll share that with you. So as we go, don't forget to pause and breathe. That will help you focus. It'll help you uh, set. It'll help you ground as we go to a quick break. Don't go anywhere. I will be right back. You're with the long bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville on Inspired Choices Network. See you in a minute. How much of our daily success relies on our mindset? Anything we are unaware of can still impact our lives. When dealing with our daily emotions that we all face, there can be positive outcomes we control. Why is the word stigma such a BS misnomer? Is living abundantly really possible for all of us, no matter where we find ourselves today? Join the long-bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville. The Chief Catalyst Strategist Guide at Jewel International invites you to an enlightening, sometimes shocking discussion. He will be challenging you to explore your own answers to these questions and so many more. This will lead you towards living an abundant, successful life no matter how you define it. Gordon D. Melville is live Fridays at 12 noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspire Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspire Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is the Long Bearded Guy with Gordon D. Melville. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to the Long Bearded Guy at gmail.com. Now back to the program. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Thank you for coming and being with me today. We're talking about taking ownership of where we're at to help ourselves move ourselves forward. And, and you know what? Yeah, I, I want to just, if this resonates with you, if this kind of a topic resonates with you, if you're wanting to move forward, you're not either not happy where you're at, or you don't know how to move, or you didn't even know. I run into people all the time that they didn't even realize there was an opportunity to grow. And I talk about intentionally growing. If you want to intentionally grow, reach out to me. I've got lots of ways to help you do that. Uh, I've got a, a something called Boxed Inside Out is a group program. I've got a men's and a women's. I've got cohorts happening or just about to happen. So if you want to plug in that way, that's a great way to do that. If you want one-to-one -one mentorship, uh, I, I can do that. We're happy to do that. Reach out and, and we'll talk about that. And if you want me to talk to your group or your church group or your young people, or you, whether it's virtually or, or live in person, I do international speaking gigs all year. So reach out to me and, and let me know, hey, you know what? This is resonating. And I've said to you before, if you think I'm full of poop, tell me. I have, I have thick skin. I can handle that. I'm looking for that engagement, though. I'm looking for you to reach out or challenge it or tell me, hey, that's doing that's that's absolutely on spot on. Reach out to me. There's ways and I have ways to help that lots of people don't have. I've been doing personal development at a ridiculously high level for more than three decades. And, and with the, the top guys, I've worked with Cardone, I've worked with John Maxwell and Zig Ziglar and, and Tony Robbins. I've worked with a whole whack of uh, Jim Rohn. I've worked with people that really high 
Mount Rushmore of thought leaders that creates a certain, um, it creates a certain type of human. It creates a mentor that's champion mind as opposed to just high performance. Lots of people aren't even in high performance. They want to get, if that's where you want to get, reach out to me. The long bearded guy at gmail.com. Again, the long bearded guy at gmail.com. And, and I will respond to everybody that reaches out to me. I answer my own stuff. I'll reach out to you. If you try and connect with me on social media, the long bearded guy at gmail.com and any, any social media, I'll, I will, I will talk to you. I, I talk to all that stuff. I look after that myself. So uh, please reach out. All right. As we continue talking about taking ownership, we can't move ahead without discomfort. We just have to get past the fact that that's what's going to happen. We fight that discomfort. We fight the, the challenges. We fight. We don't want to have to go through the hard stuff. There's, it, it's literally impossible to be successful at the levels we want only dealing with pressure when we have no choice. I'm going to say that again. It's impossible to be successful at, a, at an elite level when, if we're only willing to deal with pressure when we don't have a choice. When life puts us into, or our choices put us in a position where we don't have any, there's no safety net. We absolutely have to. Now we're in pressure. Now I do it. What I'm saying is we need to be able to put that pressure on ourselves. We need to be able to hold that area of discomfort, right? That's putting ourselves, choosing to put ourselves in that spot, choosing not to be in our comfort zone. Not everybody gets the opportunity to be stressed that way by the potential to achieve exceptional things. Lots of people and not everybody gets that opportunity. My guys, we we're talking to them just today. Guys, you understand you're three games away from the championship. All the other players on all the other teams in the league are not getting the opportunity you're getting. You need to do something with it. Oh, I should have. No, shut up. It's not should have. You didn't. You made the choice not to. I'm praying they make the choice to. And you know what? I'm praying you make the choice to. You're, you're built for exceptional things. There's greatness inside you. My producer will tell me, Gord, there's greatness inside you. She told me that looking in my eyes last night. She's amazing. If you don't know who she is, reach out to her. She's incredible. Anyway, she inspires me very, very much, and I love her a lot. She's a huge, huge part of my life, and I, I, I don't tell her enough how much I love her and how much I care and how much I appreciate what she's doing in my life because I am. she's radically shifting, helping me shift, helping put the tools in place so that I can achieve the exceptional things I meant to achieve. And you're in the same place. You're in the same place. But you, ha you have to take advantage of that opportunity when it comes. And if you don't have the tools in your toolbox to take advantage of that opportunity when it comes, you absolutely need to reach out to me. You absolutely need to reach out. I can absolutely help you put those tools in your toolbox. And we have to do it when everything is good. People go, oh, yeah. I'm good. I'm good. I know some people that need it, but I'm okay. No bullshit. We, we have to put it. It's like buying insurance. You buy insurance when you're healthy because when you're not healthy and need it, you don't qualify. Right. It, 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 so we need to do the same thing with our mindset. We need to do the same thing with the tools to get through our life. When everything seems to be okay, that's when you're going, because it's, it's much, much, much easier to do it then because you're in a good place. If you're not in a good place, it's really hard to deal with whatever life is throwing at you because of your choices and still find good help and still find the help that's going to move you forward. And you know what? It's, I'm not, uh, and I talk about not, um, I'm talking to me as much as to you. I wrote a list of some things. I was like, you know what? 
you know, every, oh, you, you, you have it easy or you don't have to deal with the stuff I have to deal with. All right, maybe. And there's some people and, and you know what, for those of my friends that are, are praying type people, I have a, a family and a, and a friend that's uh, going through some horrendous, horrendous stuff, horrendous stuff. And, and is in the process of, of leaving the planet and not by his choice. And, and it's, he's got a nine-year-old daughter. And it, it's been really, really hard on the family. Please, please, please lift them up in prayer. Please uh, say a prayer for them. They, they really badly need that. I would really appreciate that, that they would really appreciate that. So there's always somebody worse off than us, right? I told you before, um, diabe I've got diabetes, I've got Crohn's and colitis and, and undiagnosed head pain at a migraine level that never goes away. I wake up later, go to sleep. There's a lot of things, but we all have demons we fight with. We all have challenges and battles we fight every day. That's why I always say be kind. You have no idea what those people are dealing with. On, on May 1st, on the way to, to a game uh, to watch my guys, uh, I was in a car accident that I had to be taken to the hospital. And, uh, by ambulance and it's caused some challenges I, i've got concussion um i've got concussion protocol happening so reduced screen time the light i can't take it for very long it really hurts and and dizzy and and passing out like there's a whole whack of stuff that comes with that it rode off a car so now we're trying to find a vehicle regular life stuff right on top of that so Monday, uh, uh, Monday, I, to I tore my eye again. Again, I, I, maybe there's not enough to deal with. We found out about uh, a little while back, we have to move at the end of June. Well, that's only six weeks from now. We don't know where we're going yet. We all have stuff going on, but we have to choose to still show up. We have to choose to still be who we are. I keep coming back to it. Who you be? Who are you being? Yeah, we all have shit. We all have stuff we deal with. Get over it. And, and I'm not trying to be hard or callous or, you know what? Uh, we need to help that and we'll hold it. Share it with us. We'll, we'll carry that burden with you. But we still need to get through our life. We still need to be able to achieve and be who we're supposed to be. Those challenges are here to make us better. The nutrients we need to grow are in those challenges. We're going to get better. They say, well, what doesn't, what doesn't kill us makes us stronger. I laugh and go, I should be Schwarzenegger by now. But at the end of the day, we need to be able to step into that and do that. It's impossible to be successful at the levels we want by only dealing with pressure when we have no choice. Choose to put the pressure on yourself always. Go grow. Intentionally grow. Not everybody gets the opportunity to be stressed by the potential to achieve exceptional things. Stress yourself. Choose to do that. I dare you. I dare you. Is it hard? Yes. Brutal brutal is it worth it absolutely yes absolutely yes we need to be able to do that if if you want to like i said if you're if you're happy being where you are be where you are but i suspect you wouldn't still be listening to me because a lot of the people that reach out to me go bored you challenge me to move forward you challenge me to make the hard choice that i know in the moment is hard 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 but in the long run, it's going to make me better. It's going to grow me intentionally and take me to the better place. I can tell you this. If we make the easy choice today, our life will be hard. But if we make the hard choice today, our life becomes easier. Percolate with that. Percolate with that. I got to take another quick break. The time always goes so fast. So goes so quick. I want to do a quick, another quick shout out for Jose Escobar. Check out his The Entrepreneur's Bookshelf to learn more about the morning and evening mastery routine program that is changing people's lives. If you're not doing something morning and evening, you're missing out. You're, you're not getting all of, you're not squeezing all of that juice out of the orange. So 
This program will help you install systems on the bookends of your day to maximize your morning and evening routine. Set up your free strategy session with Jose Escobar today. And you can reach him again at the, so the, T-H-E, the entrepreneursbookshelf.com. Reach out to Jose, great guy, incredible program, life-changing programs. If you want to grow with me, by all means, reach out to me. Life-changing programs can help you jump from one level to another level to another level. We can go as high as you want, as high as you want. But it's an intention. You have to make the choice, folks. I can't do it for you. I can't want it more for you. Nobody can want it more for you than you want it for you. Think about that as we take another quick break. I have my 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 herbal tea and my special mug. Thank you for the mug. And uh, as we go to break, take a, take a second, pause, breathe. Pause and breathe to ground yourself and let this stuff percolate. Let the information percolate. Let this stuff sink in. And if you don't have a journal and you're not writing this stuff down, you're going to miss it. You're going to forget. And you don't want to do that. But as we take a quick break, don't go anywhere. We're going to have a, a quick piece when we come back. Some real talk. I don't know if there hasn't been real talk up till now, but we're going to have some real talk as we go forward into the next segment. So don't go anywhere. You're with Gordon D. Melville. That's the long bearded guy. That's me on Inspired Choices Network. I'll be right back. How much of our daily success relies on our mindset? Anything we are unaware of can still impact our lives. When dealing with our daily emotions that we all face, there can be positive outcomes we control. Why is the word stigma such a BS misnomer? Is living abundantly really possible for all of us, no matter where we find ourselves today? Join the long-bearded guy, Gordon D. Melville. The Chief Catalyst Strategist Guide at Jewel International invites you to an enlightening, sometimes shocking discussion. He will be challenging you to explore your own answers to these questions and so many more. This will lead you towards living an abundant, successful life no matter how you define it. Gordon D. Melville is live Fridays at 12 noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. The Connected Leaders Academy is the number one fastest growing networking community for entrepreneurs. CLA assembles high-level leaders, titans of industry, and business owners under one roof. If you're an entrepreneur looking to grow personally, professionally, scale your influence, develop skills, and expand your network exponentially, the CLA is where you need to be. Want on to more podcasts and shows, speak on more stages, sell more books, products, and services, get more leads, referrals, acquire new clients, develop lifelong friendships, and more. Join the Connected Leaders Academy today. Contact Jose Escobar on Facebook or check out www.claglobalsummit.com for more information. This is the Long Bearded Guy with Gordon D. Melville. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to thelongbeardedguy at gmail.com. Now back to the program. Everybody, welcome back. You're with Gordon D. Melville, the Long Bearded Guy on Inspired Choices Network. And today we're talking about taking ownership of where you're at to move yourself forward. Taking ownership of it all. By the way, um, if I didn't put my email address, I, I thought I had, you know what? Uh, the Long Bearded Guy at gmail.com is my email address. To get, you want to get a hold of me? You want to you want to plug in? You want one of the programs? Matter of fact, if you want sponsorship, you want to help me Keep this message coming out. If you got a, a dad or a brother or a son or an uncle or a man in your life, a colleague, somebody that needs to hear this stuff, if you need to hear more of this stuff, reach out to me, the long bearded guy at gmail.com. Help plug you in to any of my programs for uh, and for for sponsorship opportunities or you want to help, like I say, help promote. Please, please, please reach out to me. All right. So we're talking. I wanted real talk. I want to, I want to. I, I wrote something and I want, I, I want to read because I, I spent a lot a long time trying to write this and, and I get it just right. And then it's, it's hard to just say, I want you to understand that no matter how advanced and polished your skills are, or you think they are, they're a moot point without the mental toughness to execute on them. You can have all the skill in the world, but if your head is in your butt, 
you can't access any of that. Mental toughness and, and control of your mind is paramount. So again, it doesn't matter how advanced or polished your skills are. It doesn't matter if you don't have mental toughness to execute on them. It'll be painful to own this reality. It'll hurt. But once I fully own my own shit, I'm open and prepared to be able to leap forward, to intentionally grow from there. But that's a tough choice. Most people are not prepared to make. It's too damn hard. It takes too much effort. It, it hurts too much. It costs too much. I have to give up too much of the crap that's hurting me anyway. But it's my comfort zone. But I love it more than my desire to succeed. Do you hear that? The crap you're letting control you is preventing you. What do you love more? You want to have discipline or do you want to have easy right now? Because it, your life is going to dictate out of that. One is they're both are going to grow what your life is. But what do we love? A lot of times we love the comfort zone more than our desire to succeed. I may lose people who have held me down or held me back maybe, or maybe they're threatened by my successes because it shows them that maybe they settled and gave up on what they, and so they feel convicted by that. So they keep me down with them, right? Misery likes company. Sometimes we want easy and to bitch about what our life is or what it's not, to blame everyone else but ourselves, what we didn't get, who wronged us, who held us back. And we make up a thousand excuses for why our lives are not what we want them to be. And whose fault is that? I want you to pay attention. Hear me. It's our freaking fault. It's your fault. It's my fault. It's not on anybody else. It's our own fault. It's our own choices. We are where we're at in our lives for no other reason than the choices, good, bad, and otherwise, that we've already made. Nobody else. We need to stop blaming our parents or teachers or our ex or a terrible boss or, or, or whatever, whatever, whatever. BS, BS, BS. Maybe I was looking for extra words there. <laughs> own your own shit is what I'm saying. I own my own shit. Everyone needs to straight up have 100% extreme ownership for themselves and where they're at. It's nobody else's fault but our own. Like it or no, believe it or not, that is the unvarnished, unsugar-coated, straight-up fact of it all. We become where our habits take us. I'm going to say that again. We become where our habits take us. It's not the big things that knock you off course. It's the little itty-bitty nudges that bump you every day, every day. Little, little things you go, oh, no big deal. Oh, no big deal. I can come back. Oh, no big deal. It's, I can come back. No. It's those little bumps, and all of a sudden, six months later, like, where the hell am I? Because you allowed those little bumps. We become where our habits take us. Powerful. Powerful. Did you earn it? Did you position yourself properly for it? Or are you looking for a handout? Lots of people are looking for a handout. They don't want to do the hard work. They want the result without the hard work it takes. They'll watch people like LeBron and Jordan and Kobe and all these iconic, iconic, not basketball, but pick a sport, pick a business, pick a business. And look at these iconic people that have done so much and we go oh they had it good or oh they had a silver spoon in their mouth or oh they had a leg up or oh they... you know what stop fooling yourself some of those people came from nothing less than nothing some of them adopted from as babies because their parents were crack addicts and they were like there's so many stories like that get over yourself Get over yourself. You can only blame that for so long. And if you're over about 15, 16, you can't blame anybody else anymore. Take ownership for it. Make the hard choices that will get you to where you want to go. And again, I, I, I want to be real. It, it, can we all make excuses? Yes, we can. We can. But is that going to get us where we want to go? Because it's those little, those little habits of making excuse, making a little excuse, 
Will people understand? Yeah, people will understand. Will they give me grace? They'll give me grace. I'm the only one that will know if I can or not. John Wooden used to say, if we win and you didn't give 100%, shame on you. If we lose, but you gave 100%, awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. It's on us. It's the choices we're making. Are you making good choices? Am I making good choices? Are we showing up when we can? Are we not letting ourselves off the hook? Or are we letting ourselves off the hook? It's real talk. If you want sugar coated, you're in the wrong. You're in the wrong place. Do you want to be challenged? I, I'll throw the gauntlet down. I challenge you to pick it up. And, and I, again, I'm talking to me too. It's hard. Life is hard. It can be brutal. But we're not alone. We're here. There's other people to help. There's people that will help pick you up, dust you off, pat you on the back, and, and hey, come on, you can do this. And the reality of it is we only have to get up once more than we fall down once to be successful abraham lincoln what do you remember about abraham lincoln what's what do most people remember about oh, one of the best presidents ever yeah do, do you remember all the times he failed and didn't get into politics he tried over and over and over and over and lost over and over and over at all levels anybody know about his divorces anybody know about his bank anybody know about any of the negative no what do they remember bring the slaves one of the best presidents ever that's what people remember once all these other failures once colonel sanders when he went to try he was over 60 he was more than 60 when he when he went out and tried to sell his his chicken the recipe he had for chicken more than a thousand people he heard no over and over and over. Do you think he's happy? Oh, he, he's passed on now, but do you think he's and his family were happy that he asked and didn't stop? It took just that one person to say yes, to be successful. You only have to get up once more than you get knocked down. Just once. You've got the heart for that. You got the strength for that. Plug into the other strengths that are around you. Plug into Papa. And, and you know I call God Papa, but plug into him. Plug into higher power. Plug into the source. Plug into your friends. Plug into the people around you that support you and lift you up. And if you don't have people around you that are are pom pom people for you, you're surrounded by the wrong freaking people. I don't care how much you like them. They're holding you back from where you want to go. They're the wrong people. That's just the reality of it. That's just the real. My producer tonight, unbelievable pom-pom human friend. I treasure her relation, our relationship. I treasure our friendship. She's incredible. But I love surrounding myself with people just like her. There's times I can support her. There's times she supports me. When she's successful, I can, yay, and celebrate. I don't get intimidated by that. I don't get threatened by that. There's enough space for all of us to be successful. Get surrounded by people that want you to improve and will celebrate that, not hold you down. I need to take another quick break. It, again, if, if you need, if, if this, again, if it resonates, let me know that it's resonating. If you want more, plug in the long bearded guy at gmail.com. Plug, ask me, Gord, can I, well, I want some more information about your programs. Can I have information about one-on-one -on -one mentorship? I've had people that, that uh, the one on a business side, he went from $50,000 to more than $500,000 in six months, 50 grand in a year. He went to more than 500 grand in six months doing work with me. It, it, it people have given me testimonies that shock me the impact it makes in their life but it's intentional growth the long bearded guy at gmail.com and if you want to find me and you forget 
plug in the long bearded guy in any social media anywhere and you'll find me youtube and facebook and instagram plug in the long bearded guy you'll find me you can you can plug into inspired choices network pull them up plug into inspired choices network.tv you can watch every episode that's ever been done don't go anywhere we're going to do a quick wrap when we come back we're going to do a call to action that i'm i'm very excited about and i think it it, it inspired me i'm hoping it's going to inspire you don't go anywhere we're almost done we're almost done already but don't go anywhere i'll be right back you're with gordon d melville the long bearded guy on inspired choices network see you in two don't forget to pull a pause or breathe how much of our daily success relies on our mindset anything we are unaware of can still impact our lives when dealing with our daily emotions that we all face there can be positive outcomes we control why is the word stigma such a bs misnomer is living abundantly really possible for all of us no matter where we find ourselves today join the long bearded guy gordon d melville the chief catalyst strategist guide at jewel international invites you to an enlightening sometimes shocking discussion he will be challenging you to explore your own answers to these questions and so many more this will lead you towards living an abundant successful life no matter how you define it gordon d melville is live fridays at 12 noon eastern 11 a.m central 10 a.m mountain and 9 a.m pacific on inspiredchoicesnetwork.com how wonderful would it be to carry your favorite inspired choices network host with you throughout your day well now you can inspired choices network now has its very own mobile app our free app offers live streaming shows along with thousands of podcasts and TV episodes. Our shows cover a wide variety of topics. Whether you're waking up with us, carrying us through the day, and taking us to bed with you, we're always here for you to enjoy. We're easy to find. Just search for Inspired Choices Network in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. This is the Long Bearded Guy with Gordon D. Melville. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to the long bearded guy at gmail.com. Now back to the program. Hey everybody, welcome back. Thank you for sticking with me. I really, really, really appreciate it. I really appreciate you being here and spending some of your limited time with me. Uh, you know what? Uh, as, we, as we've been talking about all these different things today, talking about... I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> Taking ownership of where you're at so that you can move yourself forward. We have to be able to do that. We're, it's pie in the sky if we don't, right? It's hard to move forward. I need a plumb. I need a plumb line. If you know what that is, where, the, where, a, where a builder will put a, take a, usually it's blue chalk, and they, they take it down and they snap the cord and it puts a blue line. That wipes away, right? Chalk. But it lets them know this, I got to go from, there's my line. There's my plumb line. That keeps me straight on the straight and narrow. So being able to plug in and make the choice to plug in will get us where we want to go. It doesn't matter. And, and that's, that was one of the key pieces for today. It doesn't matter how advanced or polished your skills are. So people go, oh, God, I've already got you. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. You can have LeBron James level skill, but if his head is in his bum, it doesn't matter how much skill he has. It doesn't matter how much he's practiced. It doesn't matter how much money he makes. It doesn't matter how much, none of that matters. It doesn't matter. No matter how advanced and polished your skills are or how accomplished you think you are, they're a mute point without the mental toughness to execute on them. That's why somebody with LeBron James level skill and world-class gear and a mediocre mindset will get schooled by somebody with a mediocre skill and mediocre gear with a really good mindset. I'm thinking Rudy. If you've ever seen the movie, that's a true story. If you ever, ever, ever seen, not a lot of skill, but huge, huge heart, massive heart, no skill, had the same gear as everybody else. But his mental toughness was off the charts. 
off the charts. He was incredible, absolutely incredible. But that only comes, that's, and you can't, you have to generate that on your own. Nobody can give you that. Nobody can build that into you. You have to generate that, right? You have to inspire you. You have to get to a point where you go, you know what? I love the fact that I've got all this skill. I love the fact that I've taken all these courses and all these programs and I've practiced all. That's wonderful. Can you execute when it matters? Can you use it when it matters? Can you take advantage of it in a good way? Can you execute it when you need to? Not if your brain's in your bum. Not if we're all off course because we're pissed off with the world. We can't. We struggle to do it. Badly struggle to do it. So think about and, and remember the real talk. Go back and listen to this episode again. Go back and listen to it as many times as you need to, to get it through your head. Hey, I, I got to take ownership of my own shit. I have to take ownership of where I am today. And, and the call to action, I want you to honestly, don't sugarcoat it. Now, don't make it worse than it is, but don't sugarcoat it. Honestly, write down five of your top priorities as borne out by where you spend your time and your money. Not your lip service, because you can say, oh, Lord, this is a priority. That's a priority. Really? Show me your day timer, so your, your schedule, and your checkbook. And I'll tell you what your priorities are. Because where you spend your time and your money, that's your priority, regardless of what your mouth says. Regardless of the bullshit lies we tell ourselves. Where we spend our time and our money, that's the priority. That's the priority. So honestly write down your top five priorities as borne out by where you spend your time and your money. You got the guts to send it to me? You got the guts to do it, first of all? You got the guts to send it to me? You don't like where you're at? Make a different choice. Choose. It's not, it, it's some say, oh, I got to choose to get out of bed. No. You already made the choice. Did you choose to work there? Yes. Did they tell you you had to be there at a certain time? Yes. Great. You already made the choice. They got to live up to that responsibility and you have to live up to that choice. And if you don't like it, change the choice. Make a different choice. Own your own shit and make a different choice. My email is thelongbeardedguy at gmail.com. Send it to me. You got the guts to be honest and real with yourself? I struggle my, myself. I, I, again, I'm, I'm preaching to me too. It's hard. That's why we stick together. That's why we plug into stuff like this because it's good for us to have other people we can share this with. Don't take your, your huge, huge BHAG goals, your great big huge hairy audacious goals and drop them in front of a small-minded human that doesn't understand and can't see that don't do that to yourself share it with people that'll celebrate it and encourage you and pump you up share it with me i'll encourage you and pump you up i'll encourage uh, i'll try and help as much as i can i want you to be successful there's room for all of us to do that but that only happens if we do it together you want to go fast, go by yourself. You want to go far, you need to do that as part of a team. You got to share that, which means you got to be vulnerable and transparent with people that actually give a shit about you as a human. Find your tribe, find your community, find the people that love you. Next week, Friday, May 24th, I think I'm going to do a series on this topic because it's massive. This week, be courageous, be unapologetically you. Make it another great week. You have the power to do that. Live out you abundantly and with intention. Don't just let it happen. I love you. Massive hugs. We'll see you next week. And remember and ask yourself, who are you being? Who are you being? Who, what's a legacy to be by yourself? Thank you for tuning into the Long Bearded Guy Show. You are appreciated and loved. Gordon D. Melville returns Fridays at 12 noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific on the InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Until then, make it another great week, leading with love, powerfully designing, crafting, and living out your positively impactful legacy life you were created for. 
big hugs.